I have this down and I'm not sure which of the two. Um, I would really like to see Cody Ford develop, but I really haven't seen enough from him in the NFL yet to fully believe that it's going to happen. Um, so I'm mm -hmm. leaning more towards Cody Ford on this one, um, but also possibly John Feliciano. I think they're both good enough players, but I think they're both upgradable pieces. Um, so here I have either one of them is kind of underwhelming or goes down with an injury. And at the same time, Spencer Brown is looking too good in camp to ignore. And in that scenario, I have Daryl Williams kicking inside to one of the guard spots and Spencer Brown getting some run at right tackle this year. Hmm. Go ahead. Interesting. I mean, they brought Daryl Williams in last year to kind of do that guard thing, if I'm not mistaken. And then they shot him out of tackle, and they were like, wow, he's really good out here. Let's let's just keep him there. And, and I'm pretty sure that helped Cody Ford kick inside. I, I don't know how I don't know what to make of that because I mean we just paid Dare Williams a lot of money to be a right tackle and Spencer Brown from what I understand is a pretty raw prospect that needs some time to develop who played at U and I but he's super athletic like elite level athletic so could i see that happening yeah i mean it's not out of the realm of possibilities do i think it's gonna happen i'm gonna lean more towards the no-ish side yeah me too but if it does happen justin i'm gonna have to give you two belts i'm gonna need another belt if that happens yeah i yeah yeah i just i i look at it as um I think Spencer Brown being out of a small school kind of makes him looked at a little bit less, but we have great coaching staff in Buffalo, and I think if anybody can get the best out of him, it's our coaching staff. Mm -hmm. And with the physical tools he has, the athleticism, the sheer size, I have faith in the staff to be able to bring him, bring him along quickly. And... Obviously, this wouldn't be my ideal game plan, you know. He'd be more looking towards the future. Um, but what, from what we've seen from Cody Ford thus far in his career, it's kind of like, can he stay healthy? And can he really produce now that they've given him a set position and they're not moving him back and forth and whatnot? But this regime has also shown the willingness to, you know, as, as you said, um, they gave Daryl Williams a lot of money. Well, they also in draft, uh, invested a high draft pick in Cody Ford, but this regime also hasn't hesitated to, you know, move on from a mistake. That doubling down on mistakes is the worst thing you can do in the NFL. They showed it with, you know, they drafted Zay Jones. They moved him out of town. They brought in Kelvin Benjamin, wasn't working, got him out of town. You know they're. They're willing to take swings, and if they miss, they move on. So right. this is kind of if we don't see Cody Ford taking the next step, kind of the exit, stra exit strategy, I'm sorry. Okay. 